Welcome to the EPNJ Pause Process a Check Transaction video. This video will show you how to process a check sale transaction using EPNJ Pause. If you are unsure your EPNJ Pause clerk is set up to process checks, please contact your manager. Log in to EPNJ Pause. Click the check button. Depending on your ECH processing setup, you may be required to enter certain information. The required fields will be highlighted red. The company name is required for company checks. The customer's full name is required for personal checks. Fill out the customer contact information. Enter the customer's email to email them the receipt. If the payment pertains to a QuickBooks invoice, enter the invoice number here. For personal checks, the driver's license state and number may be required by your ACH processor. The date of birth, year, and the last four digits of the social security number might also be required. Enter the amount. If you are manually entering a discount, enter it here. If you are manually entering the tax, enter it here. If your customer gives you a tip, enter it here. Depending on how you acquired the check information will determine the next settings you select. Class is what type of customer is providing the check information, personal or business check. Ask your customer if the check is for a personal or business account and if the bank account is checking or savings, and select appropriately. Depending on your ACH account setup, you will only see options that are available for your account. The type is determined by how you received the check information. Web is only used when the payment authorization was originally obtained from the Internet. PPD is used for personal checking or savings account transaction. Most point-of-sale merchants will be using this option. Tell is telephone-initiated transaction. Use this type if you acquired the check information over the phone. CCD is only used for a corporate client via a corporate check, and POP is for point-of-sale check transaction. You only want to use this option if you're using an electronic check reader to convert the check into an electronic transaction. This type of transaction requires that you hand the check back to the customer. Select Convert as the action for this transaction. Enter the check information, routing, account, and check number. Click Submit. The transaction will process and if approved, the receipt will print. Click here to reprint if needed. Click Enter to continue to the next transaction. Thank you for watching.